channel today I'm going to be talking about this look right here all of October speaking of happy October um, all of October I'll be doing these fall looks getting ready for fall even though it's 80 degrees out here in Texas that's whatever you know it is what it is I have this new lip that I got um, these new lip pencils and if you want to do a matte lip the best way to do it is lip pencil it usually comes out the matte way you want it and it's not gonna get on your teeth hopefully um, it's not gonna get on your teeth and I'm doing a no liquid liner winged look yeah it's different for me I usually love doing my wing liner I think majority of my videos have wing liner in them whatever I'm gonna try something new and so I hope that you enjoy this video and also I'm making a whiskey drinks all of October I love whiskey in the fall it is oh, it's the best I love it I love whiskey so yeah whiskey drinks this fall every week in October I'm making whiskey drinks and how to what to put in them I hope that you enjoy and we'll get started on that cocktail now all right let's get started on this cocktail it's gonna be whiskey um, apparently my husband's been hiding the good whiskey and I found this in the back of the liquor cabinet. Thanks, Scott. That's going to be the Jack Daniels Single Barrel uh, Tennessee Whiskey. This looks like it's going to be a good one. Oh my goodness, it smells like Christmas. Side note, I don't understand why companies, whenever you see things on like Pinterest or recipes for cocktails, they're so small. Like how is one ounce of liquor and one ounce of lemonade going to make a full, you know, glass of cocktail? No, that makes like a shot. That's not fair. Why don't they just put on like what it's going to really be in an eight ounce glass? Let's do the math. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to this cocktail. So the recipe that I found actually was for the Woodford Reserve. Um, um, and I don't have that so I decided to do any kind of whiskey and I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but it's called the Belmont Jewel um, so I'm gonna call this my whiskey jewel yeah so I'm doing a whole different kind of whiskey so I'm going to use Jack Daniels lemonade and a pomegranate juice so it's gonna be one and a half part not an ounce Woodford Reserve one and a half part of whiskey to two ounces of lemonade to one or two parts lemonade to one part pomegranate juice if we're doing that and if we want like an eight ounce drink, we're, I don't like doing math. So we're just gonna figure this out. That's two ounces, that's four ounces of lemonade, two ounces of pomegranate juice, and three ounces of whiskey. There we go. Huh. And I'm out of ice, cause my ice maker's not working. So we're just gonna do this cold, cause the lemonade's cold, I guess. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start with the whiskey. Three ounces of whiskey, four ounces of lemonade, and two ounces of pomegranate juice. I love my little palms. <laughs> They're so cute, so tasty. Without ice, <laughs> so quiet. This is real life, people. Real life. Refrigerator's broken. You do what you gotta do. So, I need a wine glass. Oh, I'm leaking. This is my whiskey jewel. Smells like whiskey. Mm -hmm. You know what this needs? Ice. Lemonade's not cold enough, so I mean, it's good. I feel like I should be watching a horse's race or something with the Kentucky bourbon, but is it Kentucky bourbon? We've had this discussion before, if you look in a previous video, if it's Kentucky bourbon or if it's single malt whiskey. I don't know. I should look that up. But yeah, this is definitely a good way to take a cocktail and a whiskey and not just your typical whiskey sour because that's kind of what it is. Plus pomegranate juice. I mean, lemonade, sour mix, you know, it's going to give you the same flavor, but it has like a pomegranate twist to it. So I really like it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to smell like whiskey all day. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hashtag sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay, well, continue watching and I will show you how to do this fall look right here. And uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> All right, so I've already done my face. I did my foundation concealer and I am currently baking it. And so I am doing my eyes for this tutorial. We are going to start with a primer. This is the Unique Eye Primer. I love this base. And then I'm going to, of course, set it with Elated in the first palette. This is the Moonstruck Addiction Palette 1. I'm going to set it down with Elated and then I'm going to go in my crease with the same brush. I'm going to use Chipper to create that transition shade. 
I'm going to go in with the palette number five. This is where we're gonna do all of our colors. I'm gonna start with the shade Suspicious. I'm going to go into my crease. Yes, it is a little bit shimmery, but I kind of wanted it to be shimmery. I'm not going all the way up past Chipper. I'm actually going to stay a little bit under Chipper and kind of just start deepen my crease with Suspicious. Then with the shade Vintage, we're gonna go into that crease again. We're gonna darken this one and also kind of bring it a little bit towards the lash line. So I have the Sigma E25 brush. I love this for the crease and the lid colors. Um, I'm going to use this brush most of the time. So I'm going to take that onto the lid and deepen that crease a little bit to create that nice burgundy-ish color. All right, then with the shade Sarcastic, I'm going to do more on the lid with that. I'm not going to bring it very high. I'm gonna stay only on the lid and then go in with the liner shader brush with the palette number three, and I'm going to create a nice little, a little bit of a liner. I wanted to keep it a little bit uh, less dramatic, so I'm only doing it at the lash line just to uh, make it easier transition for the lashes when I put falsies on. It's not gonna look so um, out of place. And then I'm going to take my Moonstruck Precision pencil in perfect and line my waterline. I'm going to do that in the top waterline before I apply my mascara. Naturally, I want to curl my lashes. I have a unique lash curler that you can get at my website. And then I go in with the unique 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. This is the number one selling mascara. I'm telling you, it is amazing. And so I use a very light coat on the top before I apply these falsies. I love extra definition because I don't have very long lashes. And so I'm putting on number 16. Then with my crease brush, I'm going to go in with the shades of Suspicious and Vintage and mix the two together. For the bottom lash line, I definitely want to make sure the bottom matches the top before I apply my pigment in Sexy. I love this for an inner corner and a under brow bone, a kind of nice highlight. And I put that under my brow bone and in my cupid's bow and yes, yes, get it. And then right on my cupid's bow for that lovely dewy look. Then with my 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, I go back in with my lower lash line before I go in and warm up my face with my Blusher Brush and the um, Bronzer in Sunset. I'm going to go all over my face, just a nice little light contour. This is kind of what I do every day with my contour. I don't do a big cream contour. I like to just stick it with the basics. Then I'm going to take my Moodstruck Minerals Pressed Blusher in Sweet. This is my go-to blush. Oh my goodness, I love this blush on me. I, I'm just gonna always have it. I love this blush so much. And I'm going to go in with a different highlight. I'm gonna take the Becca highlight in Rose Quartz. I really like the pinky tone that it gives me, um, especially since I'm not as tan in this. Um, this was the day before I got my spray tan, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, my camera cut out before I showed you how to do my lips. So um, I wanted to show you the lip pencil that I have on my lips right now. It is the new Pencil in Plush. I'm officially obsessed with it. This is gonna be my new lip color for the fall, for sure. Oh, show. Sure. Yes, we have a new lip color this fall that I'm going to love. I love this look and I love all of our new lip liners. They are all amazing and they have this amazing creamy texture and they're so good. It's awesome. Anyways, yeah, if you want to know more about all my unique products that I've talked about, you can go to my website and shop there. And if you want to join my team, that would be awesome too. You can join in all these different countries. You can you can be a part of something awesome and not just wear makeup. You actually can get paid to be wearing makeup and to be doing these tutorials. I love doing videos. You don't necessarily have to do videos. I just particularly love doing videos. And I'm kind of a nerd that way where I like to edit them. That's kind of my favorite part. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please find me on all social media. Follow me, like it, whatever. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe everywhere. <laughs> all of that is me listed right here. And I hope that you have a great day and a great rest of the week wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.